Hey guys, Dale here, back with more RimWorld, The Mandalorians. We are over at um, Clan Brock's, um, and we have, uh, what do we have? We have a defoliator ship, okay, uh, and about 14 Militors. So uh, I'm going to have our ranged folks come down here, and we'll have our melee folks just like come up right right on them oh crap no sco you have the baby um go drop the baby off okay drop the baby virgil you are putting the baby somewhere safe perfect okay and let's have these guys come in and we will hit berserk on both of them not drafted hunt. We will turn on fire at will and let's like take some shots. Okay, so they have shield belts. They also have their Beskar armor. Shield belt is down. Mosco's belt is still up. Yeah, this is gonna be like no problem for them. Fox taken a co a bruise. No, a burn, so some friendly fire. Cool. Done with that. You guys need to finish this off. And, you know, they'll get back to things when when they're done berserking. Um, while they are shooting at that, well, just let them finish that off. Okay, cool. Uh, and let's hold this urgently. Let's get you guys back. Uh, we've made quite a bit of progress. So um, we are working on building the blast doors. We're going to swap these doors out all for blast doors. We'll leave this one. Um, we'll probably leave this one open, actually. Um, we have floored the interior. Uh, most of it is slate. Uh, it's kind of like a hodgepodge of different flooring. These steel grates uh, do count as sterile. So you can see the hospital is sterile. Um, fridge is all sorted out. Our like little food network is working just fine. Um, we did manage to get nutrient paste strippers in all these places. Uh, we have taken a prisoner. Um, he's already been converted and we'll probably send him back to, um, our main colony, um, for a gladiator duel. Uh, Brianna and Virgil are, you know, they came over here married, uh, but Bryn is actually pregnant, so first trimester. Uh, little baby Buffy is somewhere. Okay, she's being fed by Nosco. And we have put down, I think, almost all of our rich soil. So we have some Nutrifungus growing here in the shade with the roofed area. We're growing some smoke leaf, uh, some heel root, and then we're not quite using all of it. Uh, we have put down ground penetrating scanners, but we haven't scanned anything. We've been doing a lot of mining, so we're just kind of like getting all the steel that's on the map uh, so that we can convert these slate walls to steel armored walls uh, in the future. Uh, we are at 502 uh, steel right now. And then something that I realized is I realized I named this village incorrectly. I named it after Van instead of after Brock. Um, so I'll be renaming the village. I'd need to think of something. Maybe we'll name it after Brock or Nosco, um, someone in the clan. But let's take a look back at our primary colony. Um, not too much has changed here. We are like working on expanding the stockpile zone a little bit. And uh, our, what is it? our forge. Uh, I added the Mando decal. I did add a throne. So I added a couple new mods. One of those is uh, uh, titular royalty, uh, which lets you grant royal titles like within your own. So if we take a look at Dale, um, I did rename our leader to be uh, warrior general. And then I also added ducks unlimited um, ideology stuff. That way we could have a moral guide here and over at um, our new colony. And I'll rename the moral guide when I um, rename that colony. So right now we have the cleric of uh, Kirindar and we have the cleric of Vandor. Um, so each colony has a moral guide available. Um, if we look at the titular royalty stuff, you can like select a throne and 
do manage titles. So I just put in um, just some like generic Mandalorian things. I figured like if someone's not a foundling, but they're part of our colony that we brought in, they're a protectorate of ours. Um, I don't anticipate us using that title, uh, but we can officially like title folks foundlings. And we've done that with, um, who's an example is, not Narwhal. No, Narwhal is, mm, I don't think Narwhal was a foundling. I'll have to go back and check, but um, yeah, Narwhal is a foundling. Minty's is a foundling. Um, so if we do bio, their title is foundling there. Uh, Kieran's title is Mandalore, and then his ideology role is warrior general for our leader. Um, and then I put in some random just like military titles all the way up to like royal guard. Um, and then we have clan chiefs, house dukes and duchesses, arbiter, and Mandalore. So um, we'll see when it seems appropriate to give folks titles or, or upgrade their titles, but we're going to give everyone a title, and I've already done that. Uh, most of them are like Mandalorian, so little Savannah uh, is a Mandalorian, but like Brock is, his cl is the clan chief for Clan Brock. Um, Van is the clan chief for... Um, clan kiff uh what else is going on so they're getting they're gathering for a party that's nice um other than that we've been just like working on getting tons of resources we found some steel here um uh, kieran and a few folks just got back from doing a uh a caravan run um, so we got rid of like a lot of dusters and all that other stuff brought home some silver and we're starting to build like a little kind of um, airfield over here so uh, there was one thing that I wanted to do I wanted to take the asphalt and just kind of like extend it like that um, we'll go ahead and go up here and then I think we will we'll do some more landing spots here for like some of the larger ships. So I have this guy queued up. It is a uh, Sheathapede class transport shuttle. So this is all from like Madman Star Wars ships. Um, and just kind of like looking through them, this was like a reasonable size that also carried a max crew that um, was pretty large. So 15, I think we'll probably end up like building two of those and we'll use them as um, just kind of like our assault vehicles. We'll use this first one uh, for attack over here on these Yiddikin pirates. Um, and I think we're going to be doing that this episode. I don't think we're going to settle there. Um, just like from a pers like we we just dealing with an additional settlement settlement um i don't think we need to have three settlements going and you can see here that it's like over this impassable mountain so i think just kind of like clearing them out um kind of provides us some protection as well as like this colony that we're allied with alistan over there um so just kind of like increasing our claim we've already increased our claim now we're just kind of like increasing our radius of protection from hostile factions um yeah so we'll probably have like two of these uh and we are just waiting on cloth so as soon as this harvest comes in i think that'll be enough for us uh, and we'll build our first one and then ooh, we'll take a look at that and actually it's just buffy becoming a child so remain a tribesman and buffy we were gonna bring you home for educational purposes so why don't we can we send maybe like a, an elephant couple elephants and maybe cap and we'll do like narwhal and a milla cool We'll send them over and they will escort Buffy back to our primary colony so that Buffy can actually get an education. Um, oh yeah, so we're looking at Star Wars ships. We do have, somewhere in here is the Razor Crest, but you can see it's pretty large. So we'll make like a landing spot that is 
uh, a bit bigger here. Let's take a look at it for cargo capacity. It's about double what these guys are. So this might be kind of like our, our caravan ship. And then um, these two will be kind of like our uh, troop drop ships. So contents. Cool. Let's launch that over. Confirm. Send you guys here. And instantly world caravan, form caravan, accept buff, buffy. The elephants, and it was narwhal. And a Milla. Oh, we talked about sending cat, but that was when we were gonna do caravan. Travel supplies. Okay, send. Wait, just go back. Buffy, narwhal. Cool. Confirm. Awesome. So Buffy will get closed back at the main settlement and we'll get an education here. What else is going on? Let's queue these guys up. I feel like I had some other updates. Um, oh yeah, and we have these growth pods set up. Um, so I think we can go ahead and maybe just like implant these embryos. Uh, we do have like the network, food network coming down here. No, we don't. So we'll get that set up and then we will load up these growth vats. Cool. And then we won't have to worry about like having to provide nutrition for those things. Oh, that was the other thing that I should have done is I should have brought this prisoner over since he is converted and um, and resistance has been reduced. Um, maybe he'll be like the first thing that we pick up in our shuttle and then we'll come back when we are uh, ready to do our assault. Hey guys, uh, doing a little cleanup after our raid. Uh, just having Wo Yen uh, start a little fire, get rid of get rid of some things instead of having to clean that up. Um, and I also remembered the other thing that I wanted to do was Cat Vand has a mangled brain scar. So we did take on a quest for like a psychic suppressor, and so we ended up with some he healer mech serums. Um, Cap, let's go ahead and have you use one. And then, ooh, compact weaponry, Kieran, let's have you apply that. And then, uh, Mila, will you... Okay, we just need to have someone insert that last embryo, and we're good to go. Maybe one of the droids is doing it? Um, not sure. Uh, it was a pretty big raid that we just had. It was, oh my gosh, 148 tribals. Um, and so they they went all through the kill box as is. Um, we have everyone kind of like lined up down here. So we held them right there for a really long time. And then, of course, we had our melee folks uh, blocking the door. Um, still waiting on the cloth to come in. Uh, so we'll come back when we're ready to go attack that base. Okay, plans for this episode have changed. Um, we just had this uh, mech cluster drop. Um, they're all dormant except the auto mortar is getting ready to fire. So I have Asha and Kieran uh, heading up to like go take care of that. Let's like speed that up. And uh, we'll see if they can get this taken out. We'll also see if this like aggros them to us. Okay, so there were like five, five drop beacons. We've got like a lot going on there. Um, you guys go ahead and do that thing. Okay. Um, Max, go ahead and get inside the walls. Yeah, so they're like coming instantly. Uh, Savannah, can you call our allies? 
Ooh, actually, you're right there. Call our allies. Um, request immediate military aid. Oh, hostile visitors present. Oh my gosh. Get off my map. <laughs> Um, ooh, they're, they are getting off my map, and they are beelining towards the mechanoids, so hopefully that will distract them a bit. Okay, any damage here? I don't think so. Oh, come on. Come on, you guys can shoot better than that. I think there is a storage structure that helps with the aim. Improves firing rate of surrounding soldiers. Maybe we do that. Oh, this might be good to like line up our embrasures with some of these. Oh my god, please don't like let them in. in the doorway. Thank you. Okay. What is this elephant doing? Just like panicked by gunfire. Uh, do we have any buffs? Amilla, you can stand there. Um, we have Berserk. Have we taken this out yet? No, we haven't even like hit it a second time yet. Get back to your spot. There are turrets all around. I was thinking, oh, maybe I could like send Gen over there to just like take the auto mortar out, but also like melee is really slow. There's not like a good angle to hide from. Like right here, I think he'd be visible. Yeah. Just hit it again, please. Not even close. Took out one of two? No, just one of our turrets. Okay, the massive amount of centipedes is kind of concerning. Distracted by our turrets over there, which is roof collapse. that door destroyed so they might be able to get Karen or Asha. But they're just missing. Missing like crazy. That's perfect. Okay, I think it's just three mechanoids, right? Go ahead and move up. 
Golos, you were kind of been in the fight for a little bit. Okay, last mechanoid. And how are we doing on this mortar? We have not hit it a second time. Okay, finally. Just one more shot. One more good shot, you guys. Cool. We will free all of them. Couple injuries. So crack, a bruise, some bruises and cracks, and bruise. But armor held up really well. Um, we were on fire for like a hot second, but um, none of that seemed to become a problem. Uh, go ahead and like rescue this guy. Get him out of the door. Um, go ahead and rescue this guy. What are these guys? Um, Jawas? Jawas from the Rebel Alliance? Interesting. Okay. Destroyed. I don't even know what that was. Uh, it might have been the mechanoid um, thing. The like thing that makes more mechanoids. Uh, so it's nice to not have to deal with that. We can just like take this out and be done with it. That'd be great. This guy thinks that he's going to take on a turret. He's hit it. Oh my gosh, come on. Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Okay. Uh, you guys can go do whatever you want. I don't care. Um, orders. Let's, um, let's allow this stuff. Um, cat fan. Let's see. There are a bunch of corpses, but okay. Scyther. I think it's just those two. Uh, finish off, finish off, and finish off that centipede. Cool. Well, uh, it's always nice to get like a big steel and plasteel dump right in your base, so um, that's great. Um, I think we're going to go ahead and call it for this one. Thanks for hanging out, as always. Until next time, have a good one. Bye.